I tried to grow plants in a low-tech aquarium. Wallstad method. Dirty tank. Call it what you want, but you get the idea. Plants in an aquarium without the addition of carbon dioxide. Without liquid fertilizers. But also without a filter. I'd better tell you what equipment the aquarium has. Just the light. And I succeeded. I managed to grow plants in an aquarium with only light. You may think you've seen or heard of such an aquarium before, but you haven't. I will explain to you and I will immediately show you some things without which it was not possible. This is what the aquarium looks like now. But a big difference is seen between the first months of the aquarium and the present. The red plants I searched and found many recommendations about which red plants can grow in an aquarium without using the addition of carbon dioxide and liquid fertilization. But all I found were just opinions, ideas, about red plants that theoretically grow in the aquarium without using the addition of carbon dioxide and liquid fertilization. I have found no evidence of an aquarium with red plants grown without the use of carbon dioxide addition and liquid fertilization, which should be planted one year ago or five years ago, for example. So I will only rely on my experience with growing red plants in an aquarium without using carbon dioxide addition and liquid fertilization. These were the red plants planted in the aquarium 10 months ago. And this is the only plant that has survived so far, and I believe it will continue to survive. This does not mean that this is the only plant that can grow in a low-tech aquarium because I only tested a few red plants, and I avoided those with large leaves, but perhaps I have done something wrong in this matter. I say this because everything was fine with the red plants in the beginning. I think there are two reasons why the red plants did not last. One, the nutrient substrate was consumed and the red plants could no longer resist. This aquarium uses flower soil as a substrate covered with a layer of gravel. And I don't want to use root tabs or any other kind of chemicals in the aquarium. Two, 
When I started the algae fight, I made some changes that I assume also affected the red plants. What can it be? In an aquarium where the only equipment is an LED lamp? Yes, I made some changes to the lighting in order to get rid of or at least reduce the algae. I decided from the beginning not to use chemicals in this aquarium, so I reduced the lighting time from 12, 14 hours a day to five, six hours a day. And this is not all, because I also decreased the light intensity from 100% to 25%. I also did blackout twice to get rid of the algae, which actually worked. Got rid of the algae. Currently, I increased the light intensity to 45%. This information is very important because I have done some more detailed investigations and the conclusion gave me the most likely solution to why the red plants in the aquarium did not survive. Red plants need a strong light. But doesn't the high light intensity contradict the idea of an aquarium using the Wallstad method? I decided not to give up on the red plants and give them another chance. But this time, I decided to keep them at a high light intensity all the time to test this theory. But I need your help. Please recommend five red plants that you think will grow in this aquarium without CO2 and fertilizers. I intend to plant the red plants in a few months when this aquarium will be one year old. Do you think it will work? I await your opinions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it. It means a lot to me, along with my passion for aquariums, keeps me going.